death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Getting around, you hear me? Why is this a joke? Hey! Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Isn't Jake supposed to take care of it? The 
security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. What was that? It's nothing. Relax. While looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Roscoe Bank. The gate was locked. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. Say goodbye, no, Kyle. Hey, who the hell? Ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appear from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Home free. This way. Watch out! Ah! lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on.
subtle. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Hey! Like Lapino. Now that's spooky.
But also, it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it. Done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest they are gonna be here soon. So stick... We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. 
Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place. Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... <laughs> Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. 
Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plant? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Lupino, my cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain in the butt. Ha <laughs> ha, pain to the max. Squat pain. Got a ticket to Marble City for you. Eat the... <laughs> A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Virgilio! You all right in there? Can I... I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words. Quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's going to get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soze, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Forces, we're coming in. It's pain. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's... Hey, 
Get ya! Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment you met upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. The head junkies lady, could go I off without a warning. I, I had to be lord, careful. No, I forbid you, this cannot be, this must not be. But why am I... My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. There I would is. rather die. Where? Yes, my lord, we should be free. Oh, this shame is too great for me. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. Piece of crap! <laughs> Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city.
had found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. 